Hi, in this video we will uh, look at the conditional statement in JavaScript, in other words the if-else statement. And we're also going to give uh, the solution to the previous uh, uh, assignment stated in the previous video. So let's remember what we did in the previous video. So what we did was so when a, a button is clicked, we change its text and color of text. Now the assignment uh, specified in the previous video was stating that when a button is clicked, then we need to check if its text is test and change and then change this text into OK tested. And if uh, the text is something else than test, then change its text into OK test twice. We also need to change the button's background color to black and its text into the white color. So I'm going to go straight away to uh, my editor. And this is uh, where we uh, left it, where we left the code in the uh, previous uh, video. So uh, the first thing to do would be then to get the value as you can see here i'm not testing i'm not checking the value of uh, or in other words the text uh, that this button has but i'm just uh, uh, directly changing it so uh, what we need to do is we need to first check that value so if that uh, value if that value actually equals is test then uh, we want to change that value into okay tested so let's see whether uh, we achieve that and then as you can see then I'm going to comment also on this line so let's see whether we achieve the first one so if the value is test as you can see this works else if the value is something else we need to change the value into ok test it twice as you can see if it's test and and since now it's changed the value uh, the text will change it to okay test it twice uh, the assignment also asked us to change the background color to black the buttons background color into black and for that and uh, the uh, text into white so this uh, line of code here so the document object in the get element by id style.color refers to the text so then i can either write white or specify a hexadecimal value and then uh, we also, in order to change the text and in order to change the background uh, color, we need to specify the background uh, property right here and change that to black. So let's see whether we achieve that. I'm going to refresh the page. So as you can see here, the text changes and the color changes and it changes uh, for a second time as well. Here I can also specify the hexadecimal value, which is uh, three zeros, and then I'm going to have the exact same result. Now, uh, for although this code uh, works, uh, it is uh, highly recommended to do the following. It would be highly recommended to actually uh, It would be highly recommended to 
uh, change assign uh, the element into a variable so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a variable and essentially assign this element into this variable and then use this variable from now on instead of repeating the documents dot get element by ID now the reason that I'm doing that is for a better maintenance of the code so let's first see whether this works so what I did essentially is I assigned this document into this variable and from then on use this variable to refer to this um, element of this tag so as you can see the result is the same now the reason that I did that is what if I now changed uh, this value of ID to test button 2 or if I changed it to uh, B yeah. right then in the previous code if you remember I would have to go and change each and every instance of this ID right here whereas in this case I only need to change it once and then the uh, change is prob prog propagated as, uh, essentially uh, with uh, uh, the variable btn so this would be the uh, recommended way of uh, working uh, with a certain element so you assign it initially in your function to a variable and then on you use uh, that variable and uh, this concludes uh, this video so we have a solution now to our previous assignment and essentially it was uh, the conditional statement in the next video which is uh, I'm also going to introduce it as an assignment for you so what I'm going to ask you to do is to uh, try the following when a text box now is focused so we're going to move away from uh, the button and use a text box so when a text box is focused uh, I when one tries when a user tries to insert some text into it uh, change its background color to gray and border to green now here you have some uh, tips if you don't know how to go about it you need to check those two URLs which are going to help you to find the solution to this assignment now we're going to extend it with a second assignment which we're also going to cover in the next video is when a text box now loses focus to change its background color to white and border to gray and again have a look at this URL to check the list of events in order to choose the right one but all of that uh, in the next video Hi, in this video uh, we will continue working on events and more specifically we're going to see a different event the on-click event so the use case here is uh, when a button is clicked then we will change its uh, text and color of text and here's a URL for uh, more information on the on-click event now in the previous uh, video we explained the process of form handling conceptually and technically and uh, explain uh, in more detail what events are now we're going to go straight uh, to our editor and this is uh, where we were in the previous exercise where we covered the onload event now essentially what we said we I'm going to first uh, make a, a button and for that we need to use the input tag and specify the attribute type to a button now if I would save this file and uh, check my browser well, you can see that here is my button right, here is my button if I click it nothing happens and as you can see the onload uh, message has also disappeared although the code uh, the function the JavaScript function is right here since I removed the onload event or technically speaking the attribute of the body tag uh, I'm not gonna see this uh, message 
Now, in order to make it uh, somewhat uh, more user friendly, I'm going to add the attribute value. And I'm going to specify it as test. So um, if I save the file and refresh the page, now you can see that the button has the text test. And you do that by using the value attributes. Now, as you can see, if I click on it, nothing happens. Uh, as I've also uh, specified in my previous uh, series, I'm also going to use the ID attribute and then put the value test button. Now, as we mentioned, we want to do something, something when the user clicks the button, so therefore we need to use the onClick event. And just to link it to the previous exercise, as you can see, well, if I specify nothing, so I'm going to specify nothing right here, and I'm going to refresh the page, and obviously if I click on it, nothing happens. Now, see what happens if I would uh, take this uh, name of the function and put it in the onClick uh, attribute. So as you can see here, I specify that when the user uh, clicks the button, then uh, do uh, execute the commands which are encapsulated, which are included in this function. So what I expect to happen is that when a user clicks the event, then this function is executed and this function essentially has this alert message. So I'm going to save the page refresh. And as you can see now, if I click the uh, button, I get this message. Now, that's uh, not what I wanted. As uh, you remember, I wanted to change uh, the texts um, Let us review what we wanted to do. So we wanted to change its text and the color of the text. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, this line 8, I'm going to uh, uh, have it uh, uh, as a comment. And then I'm also going to change the name of the function uh, to have something more descriptive. So do on click. I also need, obviously, to specify the same name. So this name right here and this name right here of the function needs, obviously, to match. Now, in order to change the text of the button, we need to use the document object. And since we specified the ID, we need to use the method get element by ID and then specify the same ID of the tag that we want uh, to change. So we use the document object, the get element by ID method, and we specify as value the ID of the button. Now, the next one is to choose the value property and then change the text to OK tested. So once uh, somebody or once the user clicks the button, the text, in other words, the value attribute of the tag is going to change from test to OK tested. So let's see whether this works. I'm going to save the web page, move back to the browser, refresh the browser. Now what I expect to happen is when I click the button, I'm not going to see any message anymore since uh, that is commented right here. It's a comment. And what I expect is the value of the button, in other words, the text of the button to change from test to OK tested. So let's see if that, happen if that happens. And indeed, when I click on it, the text changed from test to OK tested. Now we can do something uh, more as well. So we can also uh, change the color of the text. And again, in order to access this specific tag, we need to use the document object. I get element by ID and then 
specify the style and color say into red so we're gonna change the text uh, color from black to red so I'm gonna refresh the page and as you can see now it changes back to its original value which is test so what I expect to happen is when I click on it the on click event is triggered therefore this function is initialized and this function essentially will change the text of the button to ok tested and it's going to change the color of the text into red so let's see if that happens and as you can see as soon as i click on the button i get the text changed and its color changed so with this video we demonstrated the on click event and some more things, some more dynamic properties of JavaScript. So essentially, you know, you can start choosing the attributes of a certain tag. Now, uh, for uh, the assignment for this video, I would like you to do the following. When a button is clicked, check if its text is test and then change its text into OK Tested. That's more or less what we did, but the extension is if its text is something else, then change its text into OK Tested twice. And also change the button's background color to black and its text into white color. So this is the assignment that we're gonna solve in the next video. So essentially the next video by solving the assignment which was uh, just mentioned we're going to look at the conditional statement in javascript in other words the if else statement it's also going to provide us the solution to the previous assignment but all of that till the next video